Hello everybody, my name is Weldon Wade and I am a Bermudian Paddy Ambassadiver coming at you live and direct today, World Oceans Day from John Smith Bay. Live on location here at John Smith Bay Beach. This is not a live background or uh, a virtual background, sorry, or anything like that. This is live. Uh, shout out to uh, One Communications for the phenomenal bandwidth because I didn't want to do this from home, you guys. I wanted to bring you this message from a beach in Bermuda. So, I would love for you guys to let me know where you're tuning in from, what country, what city, what state, and uh, give me a thumbs up and a, a heart if you can hear me okay. I got the, got the mic here. Yeah? And share this out to your pages, you guys. If you can share this out, that would be fantastic. Good morning, Isabel, from Bermuda. <laughs> it's a gorgeous day. Happy World Oceans Day, June 8th, 2020. Very special World Oceans Day. A lot going on in the world, as we all know. I don't have to really go on about that. But, hey, Coralie. St. Louis, Scotland. Yeah, Mike. I feel you, sir. I feel you. All right, you guys. going to take just a few more seconds. Guys, let me know where you're from. Smash that like button. Give me a wow face if you love this. This is John Smith Bay Beach in Bermuda. Uh, I'm going to be talking in a, just a minute about how we as divers uh, have a responsibility to help protect the ocean uh, and how we can use the, you know, this, this, this sport, this form of recreation to help protect our blue planet, right? BCN. Hey, Anna, BCN. I'm sorry. What? Where is that? BCN. I'm sorry. I'm super nervous and um, super excited. Hello from Germany. Wow. Talk about a world stage. Okay, you guys. So real quick. My name is Weldon Wade and I'm a Paddy Ambassador Diver, born and raised in Bermuda, coming at you live and direct from Bermuda. Um, yeah, Paddy uh, invited me to join uh, their cohort of Ambassador Divers for this year, recognizing all the work my team and I have been doing over the past decade in Bermuda. Bermuda, I've been um, the, I'm the founder of an organization called Guardians of the Reef. It's a small, agile organization that does grassroots work. Um, to bring the community together. Hey Mario, hey Angelines, Malaysia, nice. So Gardens of the Reef um, really was established um, shortly after I started diving, you guys, and um, we've been just doing wonderful work in the community and just doing, creating events, yeah, to get people uh, engaged in, in, in protecting the ocean, really. And that involves picking up marine debris, and we do have uh, an invasive lionfish problem here as well, you guys which we're, we're actively working on. There's a lot of work going on um, um, with that. So um, I've been diving for over 10 years now, and uh, I'm the only Bermudian certified uh, free diver, scuba diver, and closed circuit rebreather diver. And um, although my background is in IT, um, I fell in love with diving. Um, it was a bucket list item. And if you hit me up on YouTube or just search my name, I did a TED talk back in 2014 that really explains the journey um, and you can go to weldonwade.com if you like, and I've got some links, uh, a bunch of links uh, that I'm sharing there. And, and if you do check out weldonwade.com in, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna answer a question about reporting the debris. So let me, let me just circle back real quick. So hit weldonwade.com and I've got a bunch of really, really helpful links for you. And when I get back to my office, I'm gonna put all the links to all the local dive shops because what I'm gonna be talking about today is why ocean health is important, what we can do as divers to help protect and heal our blue planet, and give you three awesome reasons why you, you, and you guys in the back need to come to Bermuda to dive. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Whether you're watching live or watching, watching the replay of this, um, this is John Smith's Beach uh, in Bermuda. And one of the reasons why I wanted to all right again i hope everything is still groovy i'm using mobile broadband shout out to one communications here they're a local telecoms provider for this lovely bandwidth so again give me a thumbs up smash the wow face 
if if this is all is this if this is coming through okay again i'm a little nervous a little excited you know patty's a big platform world stage right john smith's bay is important to me and my dive team never dive alone because of this i'm just going to move out of the way so we've got this beautiful beach you guys you got the reef right there and then you have our, our breaker reef right at the distance there and it's quite shallow here uh, in, in this, between the beach and the breakers. As soon as you get over the breakers, you, you get some depth. Beautiful beach, beautiful diving, um, beautiful shore diving. So what I do here in Bermuda, not just at John Smith Bay, is dive for debris. So I'm part of the Project Aware um, program and I report will dive for debris often at this location and others but this location is particularly special because it's a um, project aware adopt the spot so i come here uh, i do my best to come here once every three months and i uh, got my onion sacks and whatnot and the whole team will have a a, a base camp set up on a hill over here the tent and uh, tables and music and bermuda rum swizzle and i'll do my my five bean chili and we'll all get in the water with our onion sacks and dive for trash uh, and, and debris. And the thing is, most debris that enters the ocean doesn't actually float. So it's important as divers, we use the skills that we learn to dive in, get some depth, fill up our onion sacks with whatever debris that we can find and, uh, and bring that to shore and dispose of that properly. Now, one planet, one world, one blue ocean, but every country deals with things in their own special way. And here in Bermuda, we actually only recycle tin, aluminum, and glass. We have a waste to energy program, so we will burn uh, our plastics. And that's the system that we have in place right now. And that's what, we're, that's what we work with. So we dive in, remove debris that we find at the bottom of the ocean, and separate it all out, and um, wash it off and whatnot, and um, send what we can to the recycling center, and everything else will go uh, to the uh, incinerator, you guys. So hopefully, wherever you are, you're using the skills that you have learned and the equipment that you've invested in to explore the ocean, everything that the, that the sea has to offer, as well as um, help protect it by uh, picking up debris. And uh, I don't really want to talk about the lionfish topic too much because they're not invasive everywhere in the world. But in Bermuda, uh, unfortunately, they are in this region and uh, we do uh, our best to keep keep their numbers um, in check so if you do have any questions for me about uh, diving in Bermuda please let me know I'm happy to actively answer questions as we're going through this live um, let me just circle back because many of you may not know where Bermuda actually is world stage right Bermuda is uh, located about 700 miles or so east off of the Carolinas of, of the United States. We're significantly further north than our than our um, our cousins and brothers and sisters to the south. So we're nowhere near, you know, for example, the Bahamas. Hey, Bertie. <laughs> we're nowhere near the Bahamas. Um, you know, I think you know our closest neighbor to our east would be the Azores. Um, to the west would be the Carolinas, and then you just take a take a boat and sail south. And you'll you'll get to the Bahamas, but it's quite a ways away. So we're the jewel of the Atlantic. We're we're in the Atlantic in the Sargasso Sea. We've got no neighbors that are that are close to us, and we're 21 square miles. You guys, we're we're English speaking. We have our own money. We're tied to the U.S. dollar with respect to our currency. It's one to one. Um, just a very beautiful, safe place to be. And um, again, I'm born and raised in Bermuda, Bermudian. Um, been here most of my life, although I did spend some time in uh, Toronto. And uh, if you do look me up on YouTube or, or hit my, uh, my website at weldonway.com, you'll find a link to my TED Talk where I talk about my journey. And essentially, like as a Bermudian, I totally uh, took uh, this, this, all this for granted, right? It wasn't until I decided to leave Bermuda as a bucket list item, I was like, you know, let me write a bucket list and... Um, scuba diving was on that bucket list. I went out with a local dive operator and fell in love. And that was in about 2006, 2007. And I just started diving from there. And my journey is quite unique, you guys, because I'm not a diving instructor. 
um, I don't work for or own a local dive shop. I'm just a very avid um, diver. I love diving in all disciplines and I've traveled around the region doing different things. Um, most recently last June, I was on a, an, a four day expedition with NOAA exploring the, the Gulf, the Flower Gardens, Marine Sanctuary for lionfish. Um, been in Lake Champlain. Um, doing the, the the fresh water diving and I do have to you did see my face switch up I was just thinking about the cold water fresh water diving it was pretty gnarly we did do the wreck of the general butler and that was really really cool um, my website uh, Toshia is my name uh, weldonwade.com and when you hit that it's gonna take you to a bunch of links that'll be super super helpful and um, what I'm also going to do and I want to mention this again near the end is add in the websites of all the local dive operators so that when you plan your next trip to Bermuda you know where to where to go and who to dive with but I've taken a little little while to, to get to this particular obvious point and that is no one's coming to Bermuda to dive right now we're living in a global pandemic and Bermuda is dealing with opening back up to the world in its own special way. We're going through a phased approach in reopening our island to the world. And right now it's, it's, it's four phases. We're in phase two. So while I would love to meet you, love to dive with you, love to meet you at one of our, whichever local dive operator you choose, our airport hasn't opened up yet. So until that happens, uh, it's not really possible to come to Bermuda to experience our super awesome reef. And we've got the healthiest reef in the region, by the way. And um, we did a, a valuation, an evalu a, a financial uh, economic valuation of our reef. And just having this reef around our island. And uh, this is where I normally queue up a slide, but I can't quite do that. I, I don't have the fancy, fancy software to do that. But Bermuda is a very, it's on a seamount. We're a very tiny 21 square mile island that's sitting on top of a, of a volcano. It's not active, it's extinct. Um, and, and, and with that, we've got a rim. We've got this ring of reef around Bermuda that, um, that protects, protects this landmass that we're living on. It's, we're really an archipelago. We're a combination of a lot of little islands that have combined with bridges and whatnot to make one large island. But if you can imagine, that reef not only protects us from storm, storm surge, and that kind of thing, it's also the reason Bermuda happens to also be the shipwreck capital of the Atlantic. So we've got the healthiest reef in the region, one of the healthy, healthiest in the world. We've also, we're also the shipwreck capital of the Atlantic because back in the day, you're sailing around, you see land, full speed ahead, crunch, you're on reef, not good. You have a problem, your ship probably sinks and that's that. So just a little history, you guys, like 1609 is when the uh, ship crashed into our reef here and uh, Sir George Summers and Thomas Gates and all those guys um, were able to um, they all survived they came to land and uh, that was like one of our one of our first shipwrecks so actually how Bermuda was 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 started our, our colonization a lot of history uh, dating back to 1609 and here we are in 2020 in the middle of a pandemic um, yeah doing our best with what we have to uh, recover. And hey, Frank, hey, Domino. Hello from Lake Champlain, seriously? So Domino, I see your questions. And shout out to everybody from around the world. Um, I'm just gonna address Domino's question real quick. Uh, and for you guys on the live, hello from Bermuda. My name is Weldon Wade. Go to weldonwade.com for more information about who I am, what I do, why I do it. Um, and if you're watching this on the replay, hello. So Domino asks, and you guys see this in the comments, and you guys smash the like button. Uh, give me a wow face, give me a heart if you love what you're looking at here. So Domino asks me, what does it mean to me to be a, a Patty Ambassador or a Patty Ambassador? You know what? That's a really, really good question. And um, like I said, I've been doing ocean advocacy and um, doing a lot of work with the community, with community engagement and trying to get more divers diving and more divers, uh, keep divers diving and get keep divers engaged, right? And by doing all that community work, all that advocacy, 
um, putting myself out there, taking a giant leap of faith because my background is actually IT. Like I don't work professionally in the ocean space. So my story is quite unique. So in doing all this hard work over the years, and I recognized Patty's ambassador program a few years, a couple of years ago, and it's an application process, right? Like they just don't like let anybody uh, become an ambassador. Um, it was a lengthy um, application process. And um, it's funny because the first email I got from the team said I was declined, I was denied. They had their cohort, they only pick a certain number per year and uh, you know, try again next year. And that was fantastic, I'm definitely happy to wait. And then not even three days later, I got an email from the team saying that I had made it on the team. So while that was wonderful and I celebrate that and I'm very thankful for that and I'm very thankful for Patty for giving me this platform to be able to talk to you live and be on the world stage, the work still has to continue. We still have so much work to do, not just here in Bermuda, but on a global scale to recognize, you know, that, listen, human health and ocean health are like this, okay? So when we have... Uh, climate change, uh, ocean acidification, uh, you know, global warming, uh, waste in our in our water. Uh, the, the the I mean, the plastic debris is one thing, but waste and runoff and um, overfishing and, and and whatnot, it it's it it can get pretty gnarly. And um, so, the things that I focus on with respect to ocean health are um, galvanizing the community, bringing the community together um, to do what we can as citizen scientists really and that's diving for debris and uh helping keep the numbers of invasive species in check so i said i was going to speak on ocean health and i can certainly speak on the work that uh, we're doing with guardians of the reef um, and ocean health for quite some time but and i'm probably going to repeat myself just a little bit but i want to give you guys three amazing reasons why you need to come to bermuda and dive one location i spoke to this already okay bermuda small island we're a british colony we're about just under 700 miles right off of the carolinas of the united states of america we're super duper close to the east coast of the states you guys um pre-pandemic i will speak pre-pandemic uh we had daily flights from most of the the gateway cities we had dailies from toronto boston atlanta miami new york um so getting to bermuda it's about 90 minutes from new york just think two hours if you're on the east coast and you're in this okay location 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 super close super awesome you can be in bermuda in just about two hours from the east coast of the united states and then like i said bermuda happens to be the shipwreck capital of the atlantic so if you're into underwater archaeology or even if you are not there's a heck of a lot to see i've been to diving destinations around the region um, as far as, as Malta and Gibraltar, again, I've been to Lake Champlain in Vermont, um, gosh, Cayman, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Bermuda has many shipwrecks. So if you're into underwater archeology, span this is the place for you. If you're into seeing the healthiest reef, reef in the region, this place is for you. But reason number one, location. Reason number two, the shipwreck capital of the Atlantic with the healthiest reef in the region um, that does a lot for us as well okay um, it's a very important the health of our reef is important not just for you know the world right but for bermuda in keeping us protected like i said earlier and uh yeah reason number three why you and the guys in the back need to come to bermuda to dive is that we have four really amazing local dive shops to be able to take you out diving fantasy diving and water sports in the west end also in the west end blue water divers also in the west end you've got dive bermuda at the fairmont southampton shout out to dive bermuda and dive bermuda also have a location in the east end near the airport we've got a brand new airport that's coming online soon um dive bermuda at grotto bay Location, amazing stuff to see underwater, and four amazing local dive shops that are more than delighted to take you out to see this stuff. 
And while you're here, grab your mass snorkel and fins and do some shore diving. Check out Horseshoe Bay, check out John Smith's Bay, check out Chaplin Bay. And essentially Bermuda, we operate sort of from a, a north shore and, and south shore sort of angle, though of course we've got all four corners. But so south shore is where you'll find all of our beautiful, beautiful reef and our depth. North shore is, um, is on our platform. And it's best for you to Google Earth of Bermuda. That way you'll kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. Because you go north, you're on our platform. It's actually quite silty, quite shallow. You don't get the diversity um, of, of the reef uh, as you do on the south. So Bermuda South Shore is where it's at. We've got numerous beaches, bays, and coves for you to explore. We've got an amazing cave system uh, called, it's on the Walsingham Nature Reserve that you can check out. So even if you're not, you know, not into putting your eyes on the water and checking out like the beautiful, healthiest reef in the planet with the shipwreck capital of the Atlantic. There's a lot to see and do topside as well. And I'm gonna just jump into a couple of questions, Domino. Domino is asking me some questions. Thank you so much for the questions, you guys. Um, and Massimo, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, how did I fall in love with diving? I do remember my first dive, you guys, and I'm happy to share that with you real quick. Um, again, Scuba diving was a bucket list item for me back in 2006, 2007. So I remember booking, you know, I said, okay, let's, let's, let's go diving. Let's experience this thing. Now I would pass this every day, this blue turquoise, green water. I would pass it every day as a kid growing up. Um, and yeah, this is not a virtual background. This is real. Um, and yeah, it was a bucket list item. So I remember calling blue water divers, booking the trip, and up there, got my gear, did the DSD thing. I remember the instructor taking me down to depth. My instructor, Marie, shout out to Marie, taking me to depth. And, 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 and this is it, you guys. Like, I remember um, being the instructor putting me down on my knees uh, at depth. It wasn't deep. At depth. And I remember looking around, right? The stuff that I was seeing and, the stu and, and what I was hearing was otherworldly, okay? I could hear my breath and I could see the fish was, was a pudding wife. I didn't know that at the time, but it was a pudding wife. Um, curious pudding wife. And the pudding wife is a very curious fish because when we were going down on our knees on the sand bottom, not on reef, we were in the sand, um, it just stirs up the sand and the pudding wife is keen to, you know, nibble on whatever little critters come out of the sand. So it was crazy because these pudding wives are just coming up close to us, checking us out. And then I remember, because Bermuda's known for a lot of things. Bermuda Triangle, <laughs> Bermuda Shorts, Bermuda Onions, Bermuda Pink Sand, right? And I remember I'm looking down and I'm kneeling in Bermuda Pink Sand. Thick stuff, thick pink sand, right? So I remember, you know, sc scooping some up in my hand and it's this chunky pink sand, the Foraminifera organism that makes the pink sand when by the time the sand reaches shore, it's actually quite fine, quite fine. But out at depth, the stuff is chunky. So I'm there, my mind is blown, right? I'm like, okay, I'm 27, 28 years old. First time I'm doing this, first time I'm even trying scuba diving. And here I am in 25 feet of water, scooping up this super thick, super beautiful pink sand. And I got these, the school of pudding wife fish, about six or seven of them, looking in my hands and, and trying to find, you know, things to, to, to eat. Boom hated myself. You know why? I was just mad that I had waited so long to put my eyes on the water and see exactly what was going on underneath the, underneath the blue. Okay. And I evolved from that point forward that I would pursue the sport. Okay. So I did level up. I reached master diver on the recreational side. And then I dabbled in, in, in rebreather diving and, and free diving uh, later on in, in the journey. But um, there, there's, there's a, a quote and I don't know it word for word, but it describes going to the beach and not putting your eyes on the water, like going to a circus and standing outside of the tent. Okay. And all the wonderful action is going on, uh, underneath the, the big top and you're looking at the tent. Okay. You got to grab a mask, a little window, little, win little glass, rubber, put, put your window on. It's a, it's a window, your ma the mask on your face is a window to a whole new world, okay? And, um, and again, you guys, if you're just tuning into the live, 
Uh, my name is Weldon Wade. You can find more resources about me and about Bermuda and about diving in Bermuda uh, at my website, weldonwade.com. As soon as you hit that page, it'll redirect you to a bunch of buttons that link you to some amazing resources. Happy World Oceans Day from Bermuda. We've been live now for 25 minutes. Something tells me just to get out of the way and let you guys look at this. Um, so yeah, shout out to um, One Communications for, for some flawless LTE data that's faster than the, band, the fiber bandwidth I have at home. Shout out to Patty and the, and the Patty family for um, making me an ambassador as part of the 2020 cohort, um, helping me to put Bermuda on the map. Shout out to all four of the local dive operators that do an amazing job in, in, in getting uh, eyes on the water. And shout out to you. Shout out to you guys for tuning into the live. And, uh, and if you're watching this um, on replay, come to Bermuda. As soon as we open up, and again, if you're just tuning in, we are, like the rest of the world, um, going through a global pandemic, and we're coming out of it quite slowly. We're a very resilient little island in the middle of the Atlantic, and we're, uh, we're coming out of a, a phase, we're coming out of the, the pandemic in a phased approach, and right now we're in phase two of four. So as soon as our airport reopens and we've got the proper safety protocols in place where you're able to come to my island uh, and enjoy everything that Bermuda has to offer in a safe way, I'm sure we'll do that. I would say uh, visit, uh, go to bermuda.com for the latest from the Bermuda Tourism Authority because um, that, that's where, where I would recommend you going. As soon as they find out what's going to happen, it'll just happen. And I'll be delighted to meet you should you come track me down I'm very easy to find in fact as soon as you land all you really got to do is ask a taxi driver hey you know I'm here to see Weldon Wade and he'll probably introduce you to my mother who happens to work there and she'll give you my address and you can show up at my house uh, announced or unannounced and we'll just grab some tanks and go diving okay so happy world oceans day from Bermuda cheers to a healthy blue planet and yeah let me just have a quick look at these comments before i sign off you guys smash give me give me some thumbs up give me the wow face give me some hearts if you love this i'm, I'm gonna assume you're on patty's facebook page you must be a patty diver right or if you're not a certified diver you're probably thinking about dabbling into diving well this is what it's all about you guys that deep blue, green, turquoise water. Yeah. I want to try to answer some questions real quick. Nice, nice. Happy World Oceans Day, you guys. <laughs> Please connect with me uh, directly if you like. Happy to answer any questions you have. In terms of call to action, go to weldonwade.com. I'm probably going to go live every Wednesday, do like a, an hour live uh, from home or from location. Do like a Into the Blue with Weldon live, something like that. We'll figure it out, man. But again, you guys, thank you to everyone for tuning in. Thank you for watching this on replay. I'm now 30 minutes in, so I got to sign off, you guys. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Shout out to One Communication. Shout out to Patty for this amazing opportunity. That's probably reversed, but Patty, so happy to be part of the Patty family uh, as an ambassador diver. And uh, I don't say this to make you guys jealous, you guys, but I got my fins, mask, and snorkel in the car. I'm about to jump in because it's what I do. It's what I do. So, you know, I can't, I can't come to George Smith Bay and not dive. Who does that? Who does that? But I can't push the uh, I can't push the finish button without um, quickly telling you guys what I actually do for for a living these days. I'm the communications coordinator for something called the Bermuda Bermuda Ocean Prosperity Program. It's a partnership between the Bermuda government, the Waite Institute, and the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Science. We are going to be protecting 20% of this blue, 20% of our EEZ and helping out with our blue economy. 
Okay, so check out weightinstitute.org slash Bermuda, or what I'm gonna do is, again, at weldonweight.com, put, uh, put a link to all the work that I'm doing with Guardians of the Reef, and with the Ocean Prosperity Program, and all the community stuff that I'm doing um, you know, with, with, with Guardians of the Reef, and working with the local dive shops to help, um, yeah, just get people's eyes underwater, and working with kids. I've got a cool kids program coming up as well. So, yeah, I could certainly talk all day. I think Patty wanted me to do 18 minutes and we're already into, into 30. So I'll check you guys out on the replay. I'm going to put the link in the chat. Let me try to do this real quick. You guys bear with me. And feedback is great, you guys, because this won't be the last live that I'm doing about ocean stuff. So if the audio and video is good, then happy to uh, happy to do it again. Can I be a big kid? Of course you can, <laughs> Charmila. I'm a big kid. I'm a big kid. Also, let's I'll say hello to the fish for you guys. So many endemic species located here. You gotta come check it out. Yes, JD. Shout out to JD. You are a rock star. Um, but yeah, you guys, I don't want to push finish, but I kind of have to before Patty call me and tell me to cut this off. Cool, you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who um, made this possible. You know who you are. Love you guys. Peace.